I bought this $140 studio kit off Amazon for the purpose of doing a sci-fi photo shoot. I'm excited to test this kit out and see if it's useful for the photo shoot I want to complete today. Let's go. We first have our 5 by 10 foot green screen. We also have that in black and white packaged in a thin plastic bag. Bag of reflectors, six clamps, and here's one of five fluorescent light bulbs. These right here are sandbags to give weight to the light stands. This is some kind of rod attachment. And here's one of the three light boxes. Five light tripods. One extension rod. Three black umbrellas. And two white umbrellas. Two bulb attachments for the umbrella rods. In this bag is the green screen tripod setup and a carry bag to store the entire kit. Here's a look at the expandable reflectors. Very nice. The golden reflective umbrella. The silver one. And the white one. Alrighty. Okay, time to figure this out. Should have an understanding of how this goes. First, I'm gonna set up the green screen. Oh, I didn't realize those were in there. Green screen. Okay, I've got the green screen all set up now and it's blowing all over the place. So when adding yourself into an environment using the green screen method, uh, you want to copy the lighting environment that you're adding yourself into. That way it's gonna look the most realistic. There's certain positionings I need to put the lights to imitate the image that I'm going to be in, if that makes sense. It is much darker now. Green yeah. screen is up. Seth, my brother, and Elisha, my brother, who was here, they've been helping me out with the setup. This is the umbrella to add as just a slight reflection to the green screen. And then I have a backlit overhead light, backlit side light right there. Now comes the funnest part of such a project like this, and that is getting dressed up in a costume. Okay, so the theme here is obviously a little sci-fi themed. It's going to be with an electric unicycle, which I have been dying for once for so long. I don't have one, but I'm going to pretend I have one in this picture. A GH5 right there hooked to my iPhone, so I'm able to monitor, take pictures through here. Doing this all myself, one man crew. Okay, I found this kit actually to be really fun and useful to use. Um, for someone who does not have a lot of lighting equipment or very much equipment at all, this was great to have. The only thing I'd say is I'd recommend to be very gentle with the equipment because I got a feeling that it's not built really durable. So I would advise to be gentle with your equipment. I also had something really strange happen when I used one of the fluorescent light bulbs that they provide. When I plugged it into the umbrella light rig, it lit up fine, but then all of a sudden it turned off and was starting to light up around here almost spark up and it was like overheating. We could smell like some kind of smoke. And so we're like, oh my gosh, and we unplugged it. I've actually not been using their lights tonight. I've got my own LEDs. That is a fluorescent light that I purchased separately. I don't know if that was just a random mistake that happened or what. I would be cautious about that. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think of the photos in the comment section below. Would love to hear your thoughts. Give this video a like, subscribe, and click the bell if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.